Chris Webber retired from the NBA Wednesday after 15 seasons because of chronic knee problems. He finishes with career averages of 20 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists a game. Despite that, he'll forever be remembered for the timeout he called, which resulted in a technical in the 93 National Championship when he was playing for Michigan. It was the career-defining mistake that Chris Webber would forever be known for. But it could be worse. You could be Dan who makes so many career-defining mistakes in the course of an hour of this show that he probably deserves a spot in our top ten. Steve Rogers was the king of the hill in Montreal, but his 158 career wins in 13 seasons were overshadowed on Blue Monday. A fly ball to Andre Dawson, and deep, Dawson to the track, Dawson to the wall, it's on! As a rookie, Leon McQuay had five 100-yard rushing games with the Argos in 1971. However, late in the fourth quarter of the Grey Cup, McQuay fumbled on the Stampeders 11 and cost the Argos the game. In 1964, Vikings legend Jim Marshall recovered a fumble and in excitement ran with the ball towards his own end zone. Oblivious to calls from his teammates, Marshall sprinted 66 yards the wrong way for a safety. Rafael Palmero was a four-time All-Star and a member of the exclusive 500 Home Run Club. However, his reputation was tainted in 2005 when he tested positive for steroids, even after this memorable denial before Congress. I have never used steroids, period. A cornerstone to the Cowboys' defense in the early 1990s and a two-time Pro Bowler, Leon Lett made one of the biggest blunders in NFL history in 1993. With Dallas leading the Dolphins with only seconds remaining, Miami's 41-yard field goal attempt was blocked, and it appeared that Dallas would escape with the victory. However, Lett mistakenly touched the loose football. The Dolphins recovered and converted a short field goal attempt to win 15-14. Elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2004, Dennis Eckersley was the first of only two pitchers in Major League history to have both a 20-win season and a 50-save season in a career. But he is most noted for this confrontation in the 1988 World Series. Jackie Smith earned his place in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Most Cowboy fans remember him for this play in Super Bowl 13. Oh, bless his heart. He's got to be the sickest man in America. Once feared for his powerful punches, Mike Tyson will go down as one of the most dominant heavyweights of all time. But in one of the most anticipated fights in recent boxing history, Tyson did the unthinkable. Oh, my! Flagrant bite on the ear. I mean, growing blood. Zinedine Zidane, one of the greatest players of his generation, having already announced he would retire after the 2006 World Cup, made an ugly exit from the beautiful game. It is an ignominious end to the illustrious career of one of the great players of the modern era. Zinedine Zidane is sent off in the World Cup final. A career 289 hitter and one-time All-Star, Bill Buckner is our number one. Little roller up along first. Behind the bag! It gets through Buckner! He 